everyone. So today I'm going to present chapter 4, Design of Reinforced Concrete Beam. So the introduction, so let's look at the French beams. So what? Okay, so also we need to know what is the effective French. Okay, so this is the effective, effective French. Okay, so let's look at effective French width. So the effective French width, V, E, F, F, for T beam and L beam okay may be derived as the B effective is total of B effective I plus B W which is lesser than the original B so you can see that for a beam the T beams here okay the T beams here this is the slab uh, this is the uh, slab 1 and slab 2 let's say this is beam in the middle okay so the B the original B is this okay so the B effective must be lesser than the total B and the B effective is equal to B effective 1 plus effective 2 for both sides it is T beam okay and then plus the B W okay for this side so this is the B E F S equal to B E F F I plus B W which is lesser than the B so where we want to find the B effective I okay is equal to 0 0.2 B I plus 0.1 LO which is lesser than 0.2 LO if it is greater than 0.2 LO then we will use the value of 0.2 LO and the total BE and the BEFFI must be lesser than lesser or equal than the BI okay so this is also must be lesser than the BI so let's go for this example 4.7 so you can see that based on the figure below determines the effective French width B effective of beam B13 so we need to determine the effective length of B13 okay so for this beam so you can see you have span 1 2 here and span 2 3 here and this <coughs> BW here is 200 200 okay so for the 1 and 2 1 to 2 is 3000 and 2 to 3 is 4000 and uh, for this slab okay AB is 2500 and BC is 4000 so all this value we are going to use it okay to get the B effective so you can see that so first we need to determine the LO LO is distance between the points of zeros moment okay so LOs here you can see that here is 1 2 2 to 3 and the length is 3000 millimeter and 4500 millimeter so the LO here is 0 0.8 times 3000 according to the formula for LO so you get 2550 and this section for 2 is 0 0.15 times the section of this 3000 plus 4500 so equal to 1125 for this part 2 okay and then for this section 3 is LO is 0 0.85 times for 4,500 which is 3825 okay so again the equation of the French width okay the B effective is total B effective I plus B W which is less or equal to the original B okay so you can see that just now is the section from 1 to so now we can look at this okay is from the section to A B to B C okay so from A, B to B, C, we have span 1, 2 and span 2, 3. So let's go for the span 1, 2 first. Okay, span 1, 2 is from the section from A to B. Okay, it's from the section from <coughs> A section from 1 to 2, sorry, 1 to 2. And then we need to consider the slab of 1, a slab of A, B and B, C. Okay, so from this, the total length here, okay the original one here from the center uh, not the original from the center to center here is 2500 and here is four uh, here is 4000 okay so we know that the, uh, the the dimension given is from the center of the beam to center of the beam so 2500 minus 100 minus 100 so it is become 2300 that's why it's from the edge of this width the B to here the from here to here is 2300 and 3800 after deduct the here the half 
center to the edge of the beam okay so that's why you get 3800 and the bw here is 200 okay so to get the b effective is b effective one plus the bw plus b effective two okay so the b1 here to get the formula here the b1 here okay is 2300 divided by two you get one 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 five zero and b2 is 3800 divided by two where you get 1900 okay so to get the b effective one you use the formula which is 0 0.2 times 1150 okay 1150 is from here the b1 okay plus 0 0.1 times 2550 which is this is the LO for the sections okay for the LO1 which is from the span 1 2 okay span 1 2 the LO1 is for span 1 to 2 okay so you get 458 which is less than 0 0.2 LO so 0 0.2 LO 0 0.2 LO is equal to 0 0.2 eh, 0, 0 0.2 times 2550 so you will get 510 mm so 458 mm is less than 510 mm so we will take this 458 mm as b effective one okay and also compared to b1 it is less than the total of 1150 okay so B effective 2 is 0 0.2 times B2, okay, times B2, the values from here, and 0 0.1 times 2550, which is the LO for span 1, 2, okay, is equal to 635. So however, 635 is greater than 510, okay. So according to the formula, we need to take this value 510 instead of 365 we need to take the smaller value and it is less than 1900 so for the value is 510 so the b effective for span 1 2 is 458 plus 510 plus the bw so you get 1190 for the b effective length which is lesser than the b 3250 okay so the section you will get is like this for the spam one two okay the beam you get here is bw is 200 so the hash f is 150 and the b effective here is 1195 mm when you design the tb Okay, so let's go for the span 2, 3. Okay, span 2, 3. Okay, still the same. 2, 3, 0, 0, 3, 8, 0, 0. Okay, and then the BW is still 200. So B1 is the same, B2 is the same, the B is the same. So what is the difference is the LO. So now LO is, you need to use span 2, 2, 3. Okay, so L, uh, B effective 1 equal to 0 0.2 times B1 plus 0 0.1 times LO. LO is 3825, okay, for the span 2, 3, the LO, okay? Okay, so it's 612.5, which is lesser than 0 0.2 LO. 0 0.2 LO is equal to 0 0.2 times 3825, so equal to 765 mm so we will choose this value so for the v effective 2 is 0 0.2 times 1900 plus 0 0.1 times 3825 which is the lo for 2 to 3 we will get 3 and 762.5 mm which is also lesser than 765 so we will also take this value so 612.5 v effective 1 okay and EB effective 2 plus the BW, you will get 1575 mm for the B effective for span 2, 3. Okay, so when you draw it, it will become, okay, the span 2 to 3 when you draw the T-beam. Okay, so the B effective is, the B effective is 1575 mm 
and hf is 1500 mm and uh, 150 mm sorry and the bw is 200 mm so this is the gauge for the spam 1 2 and 2 3 for the b effective so this is the way how we calculate for the French beam to be effective. Okay, so now let's move to the design. Okay, so design for French zero, you can see that here the design procedure of French beam is depends on where the neutral edges lie. So after you found the BEFF can be effective, then you need to find out where is the neutral edges that may lie in the French or either in the beam. So there are three cases that should be considered. Okay, so these three cases we'll go through one by one. So neutral axis it can lie in the fringe where the M is less than MF. Okay, or either the neutral axis lies in the web, but M is greater than MF, or but is less than the M balance, and then the neutral lies in the web, but the M is greater than the M balance. Okay, so for the case one where the neutral axis is lies in the fringe when the M is less than the MF. So this condi condition occurs when the depth of the stress block 0.8x okay, is less than the thickness of the fringe. Okay, so means the 0.8x is between this HF is less than it. So this is for the case number one where the neutral axis is lies in the fringe. Okay, so moment resistance of section M is FCC times Z, okay, which is equal to these equations. Okay, 0 0.567 FCK B effective times 0.XX D minus 0.4X. So for this case, the maximum depth of stress block 0.X are equal to HF. Okay, so the M is equal to MF for these equations, okay, where MF is the ultimate moment resistance of French. So you calculate, okay, therefore, if the M is less than MF, the neutral axis lies in the fringe and the design can be treated as the rectangular singly reinforced beam. So you can design according to the rectangular singly, singly reinforced beam as usual, okay. However, for case 2, when the neutral axis is not at the fringe but is at the web and the MS is less than M and is less than the M balance. So if the applier M is greater than the MF, the neutral axis lies in the web. Okay, so the 0.x now is not less than HF, it is greater than the HF, means it's the, the neutral axis here is now in the fringe, in the web, sorry, in the webs. Okay, so for this, from the stress block, the internal forces, the FCC, okay, is using these equations for FCC1 and this equation for FCC2 and the FST is for from the steel okay this is for concrete 1 concrete 2 and this is steel is 0.87 FYKAS so the level arm for Z1 and Z2 is this formula and the moment formula is FCC1 Z1 plus FCC2 Z2 Okay. So you calculate the ultimate moment resistance of section when x is equal to 0.45d. Okay. So you can using this M balance equations, you calculate substitute all the all the values, and then you can get the M balance. Okay. So you therefore the M balance is beta F F C K B E F F D power of two. So if applied moments is less than the end balance, so then the compression force, re air compression reinforcement are not required. So area of tension reinforcement can be calculated as following by taking the moment F as CC2, where FST is using this form and when where the M form you can see that the formula for the M is provided here. Okay, and then the AS is provided here by using S is 0.45D, then you calculate the area of steel okay the reinforcement so for the cast tree okay neutral axis lies in the web so m is greater than m balance so if the applied moment is greater than m balance the neutral axis lies in the web and the compression reinforcement should be taken so for the case tree you need the compression reinforcement just now no need okay for the case two and case one case three you need the compression reinforcement 
when the central is light and lies in the web and the m is greater than the m balance so you need the x prime okay so these are the equation needed okay you can go through it by yourself for the fcc1 fcc2 fsc okay for the steel at the top for the compression you can see that here there's a s prime fst and then you calculate the z1 z2 and z3 then you calculate the m okay so you need to go through it to get the x prime okay and then for the equilibrium is this equation so you will get the x okay so this is the design for the french beam you can see this okay the key difference here you have reinforcement here the w will be here the main reinforcement the shear reinforcement and the transverse reinforcement okay so the design procedures of french beam is similar to the rectangular beams okay then you can see that the step first you need to determine the design life and then you need to determine the beam size okay so this is the standard you need to refer to and then we need to determine the effective width okay the effective width is the first uh, just now we cal uh, calculate the be effective you remember okay and then design the actions on the uh, determine the design on uh, uh, design actions on beams durability characteristic strength and then the determine of nominals cover calculate moments and shear force determine design the shear uh, fracture reinforcement shear reinforcement and here you have another one is design of transverse then check deflections cracking and detailing it's similar the steps okay just you have two additional thing which is the you need to get the effective width okay and also you need to determine the cases is either one two three either you will design as the rectangular beams or either you design it with case two without the uh, the compression reinforcement or case three with the s prime the compression reinforcement okay so the moments is negative moment you can see that here okay it should be noted that when the t beam is subjected to negative moment you can see that here the moment negative here when you have the beam is subjected to negative moment the slab at top of web will be in tension so it will be reversed okay while the bottom of the web is in compressions so this usually occurs in the interior support of continuous beam so when you have continuous beam okay so it is negative value negative uh, moment so it will be reversed it is compressions okay at the bottom and the tension at the top so the compression area in sections for aa you can see that here for the aa sections okay so it is like this section two the moment is like this and section c so when it's zero means that this area is got no moments here is that the intersection interact intersections of a cross positive and negative okay, so let's look at the mid span section for aa you can see this case one is the compression area in the fringe and the webs okay so this one will behave as a composite section so the neutral edges is lying here and the case two is compression area is in the fringe only so the neutral edges is lying here okay so we have as a, as a rectangular section okay width which is equal to the b effective here okay and then the b are uh, the support sections b b okay is compression area is in the web so the fringe crack when the fringe cracks means that reinforcement need to put at the the fringe area Okay, so it will behave as a rectangular sections and the V we design as BW. Okay, so thank you.